What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a super simple, super quick video for you. So, as you probably know, Grand Theft Auto V was free on the Epic Game Store. Now, if you've modded Grand Theft Auto V on Steam and you'd like to change platforms, or you've modded it on Epic Games and you want to change to Steam, or possibly you've even moved your install of Grand Theft Auto V, you'll notice that opening up OpenIV will open up the last directory, and possibly if you have two installs of the game, it'll only open up one of them. I'll give you an example. Starting OpenIV, I'll go ahead and click Windows, then it goes ahead and starts, and it'll be dropped into our Grand Theft Auto V directory. How exactly do we change what folder this points to? Well, it's rather simple. At the very top, head across to Tools, Options, and then we'll be dropped into the General tab. Over here, we can choose to disable this whole startup and select platform, and we can tell it to automatically drop into Grand Theft Auto V Windows, which is probably what you'd like to do if you don't have any of these other games installed. I'm gonna leave this on, but heading across to the Game tab over here, we have GTA V directory. This is where OpenIV is currently set to point to, and that's where all of these files are. What we can do is we can click Change Directory, and then find a new folder with Grand Theft Auto V.exe in it. If I head across to this folder in a file browser, and then look down, you'll see we have GTA V.exe, as well as a bunch of RPFs, etc, etc. This is where my game is currently installed with the Epic Game Store version. Say I wanted to move it across to the Steam version and mod that with OpenIV, I'd simply head across to where the Steam version of Grand Theft Auto V is located. Most likely, see Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then probably Grand Theft Auto V. Then what we'd do is we'd make note of where this is, and we'll navigate to it in this folder picker that opened with OpenIV. Then when we're in the correct folder where GTA 5.exe would be, we can click Select Folder, and we'll get a pop-up saying we need to restart OpenIV to apply changes. So I'll go ahead and close out of it. And upon opening it up, if you see this, then you've selected the wrong directory. What we can do is simply hit browse and find the correct directory, click select folder, and after it's located GTA 5.exe, then it'll go ahead and work. Though if you have selected the correct directory, then everything will work fine and it'll drop straight into the main menu allowing you to modify files. Anyways, that's about it. Hopefully you found this short tutorial useful. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!